it comes to donating blood, all you hear about is how great it is and how it saves lives. <laughs> how honorable it is to donate blood. I agree, it saves lives, it's honorable, and generally it's a good thing. But with every good thing, there's the opposite. And you don't hear too much about the opposite, which is not good. Why do you think when you donate blood, they pay you or they give you insensitives? There's a reason for that. So they could say it's because people are afraid of needles. They could say it's because people just don't know about it. And that's a way to get people to know about it. There's a lot of excuses they can use. But I've experienced one of the truths. The true reason why not a lot of people donate blood or they keep losing their donors. And the reason is neuropathy. If you don't know what neuropathy is, it's nerve damage. But it's not just nerve damage. Well, for neuropathy it is. Donating blood can cause tendon damage. It can cause, um, I forgot the name of it, but where it's a long side effect where you're always going to have pain throughout your whole body. Yeah, weird, right? It's so, my case is so odd that I feel like I have to share it. I know there's one person out there who've experienced the same thing that I have. There's or at least something similar. And if you're out there, please don't forget to comment below. My case is going to be over a course of several videos. All the things I've experienced since donating blood. Let me tell you, my experience has been a living nightmare. I'm a young individual who shouldn't be experiencing these things completely healthy completely healthy before donating blood. Many people have experienced what I have and I need to say something about it. I'm tired of doctors not believing me or the insurance company that's going to pay for this from the blood donating um, who, who from the blood donation who did this. Their, their insurance company is going to pay for this. But they keep making it seem as though I'm lying or I'm not being completely honest. That's incorrect. So my voice needs to be heard. My story needs to be heard. And we, we really need to just, for everyone who's experienced this, we really need to just come together and discuss this, have forums, so the word about damage from blood donating can be heard. I donated blood. I'm going to give an overview of my story for this one. I donated blood in 2015, around July, the late of July. Now it's January 6, 2016, and I'm still in pain. That's about seven months. I most likely experienced both tendon damage and, of course, nerve damage. There has been a few doctors who believed me and diagnosed me with peripheral neuropathy. Peripheral neuropathy is not curable, they say. Hopefully, mine's is for some reason, you know, optimistic right there. But most likely, I don't know. And I've ex I've experienced tingling and numbness and pain and suffering for over seven months. I'm not very happy. I plan to do a lot with my life. Start businesses. Um. 
write books. I mean, I, I, I plan to do a lot, but now my life is put on hold because of this. And I guess YouTube will be a great way to just express myself to get it out there. And for, like I said, if any of you have experienced the same things as I have, please write a comment down below. And if, you're, if your story seems similar, I will try to message you and we can get in contact. Because this is horrible, what, have I, what I've experienced. Horrible. So, that's all I have to say for now. But stay tuned because I'm going to whip out a lot of videos with a lot of content. I'm just going to share with you some of the odd things that happened to me that seems ridiculous to doctors. But it's happened to so many people that doctors need to stop being so in disbelief. They need science. You don't discover a treatment or you don't discover a problem until you open your mind about it. You can't just be in the dark or just say, oh, that's impossible. What? With medical problems, with science, anything is possible until absolutely, positively um, deemed not. And in my case, many people have experienced what I've experienced. So, it's not deemed impossible. Throughout this video series, I will be giving you links to websites you can see for proof that this is possible. I will be reading articles. I will be reading um, anything related to blood donating that you have probably experienced yourself if you're listening to this. You're not alone. That's what I want to say. And you're not, you're not, you don't have anxiety disorder. You don't have a mental problem. You are experienced experiencing pain it's not in your head if any doctors have told you that this is in your head that your symptoms are ludicrous then they don't know they don't know until they experience what you and I have experienced I have had pain in my wrist and my hands I had numbness in my hands but I didn't get the blood donation from there I I had I donated blood from my elbow area isn't it weird? How is it possible that I had, um, I have tingling numbness? Well, it was throughout my whole arm. But when I tell the doctors about the pain in my, my fingers and my hand and my wrist, they thought it was insane. Like, how the hell? How, did the, how does that happen? Well, it's, it's possible. And it, and to me, it makes sense. I mean, that's, that's where, the, the nerves are okay. It goes down to my hand area. So I don't know why doctors would think that's impossible. Because isn't where the nerves and tendons go down towards the, the hand area? So that would be affected too. You would think. I really don't want to say I'm smarter than most doctors. But to be honest with you, it's, it's starting to seem like that. It really is. At least in this area. In the area of donating blood neuropathy. And, and tendon damage. I feel like a lot of doctors have no idea because they really don't. And I'll share articles with you that prove that these doctors have no idea what's going on. But I need to say something about it. Because there's lots of people who are going out there and donating blood every day. And maybe one out of 60,000 is getting injured, but they're still getting injured. And they have to live with that for probably the rest of their life. On top of that, who's going to pay for their medical expenses and the time wasted in their life? So stay tuned. I really think we should band together all those who have been injured by blood, blood donating. And we really need to speak up. I'm tired of this. I'm tired of being in pain and people not believing me. And I don't, I have developed distrust from doctors because of this. 
I have to do research on my own in order to figure this out. And I probably have to quit my job too on top of that. Anyways, with that said, that's how I feel about this. And the next video would be about a thorough video, probably two parts or three parts, about everything that happened to me since the blood donation. It's going to be really long. But you guys need to know the truth. Thank you.